the pig is an amazing animal because it comes pre-delicious. And I'm gonna prove that to you by showing you this incredible recipe for some Hawaiian soul food. This is Kalua pork. So today I'm gonna be showing you my tribute to the Hawaiian mix plate by making Kalua pork, some awesome mac salad, and a little bit of collard greens to go on the side with your two scoops of rice. So I hope you're ready because we're in for a treat. I'm gonna start with a four pound pork shoulder in a large mixing bowl. I'm gonna score the fat layer with a knife with a crisscross pattern so that the seasoning will penetrate the meat. Sprinkle all the sides of the pork with some liquid smoke and gently massage it in. Follow that by seasoning well with some alaya Hawaiian sea salt and rubbing it in. Now let's prepare a slow cooker. I got some banana leaf here. I'm gonna take them out of the package and wipe them down with a moist towel. Simply line the slow cooker with the leaf, then put the pork with the fat side up. Cover with another layer of banana leaf and put the cover on top. At this point you might be asking if there needs to be any liquid in the crock pot. Well, no. The pork will render its own liquid during the cooking process, so don't worry. Now set on low and cook for 12 hours. Yeah, 12 hours. Now our crock pot's gonna give us that low and slow heat that we need to make this pork sing. And the banana leaves are gonna lend a flavor and aroma that's gonna be just like the real thing. Now Kalua describes the traditional cooking method for cooking meats underground in a pit called the emu. While we're waiting for our pork, let's start our mac salad. We're gonna start by finely grating two teaspoons of carrot, one teaspoon of celery, one teaspoon of onion, and one and a half ounces each of crab meat and salad shrimp. Put into a large mixing bowl with six ounces of cooked elbow macaroni and add one cup of mayo, some salt and pepper, eighth of a teaspoon of dashi powder, two teaspoons of mirin, and a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Now mix until well combined, cover with kitchen wrap and put in the fridge for at least an hour or overnight. Okay, we're in the home stretch. Let's start with our collard greens. Wash and rinse one bunch of collard greens, removing the thick stem and cut into bite-sized pieces. Next, take three slices of smoky bacon and cut into half-inch pieces. You're also going to need one diced medium onion. In a large pot on medium heat, add the bacon and cook until you render out some of that fat. Add the onion and continue cooking till they start to go translucent. From there, deglaze with a few splashes of sake, then toss in the collard greens. Mix to combine, cover, and let cook for about 15 to 20 minutes or until tender. Now let's go see what 12 hours can do to a pork shoulder. After 12 hours of steady heat and patience, our pork is done. Take off the cover and gently remove the leaves on top. Savor the incredible smell and behold your culinary prowess. Grab a big mesh strainer and gently take out the pork to settle, leaving the liquid in the pot. Fish out the banana leaf and pour the liquid into a container. Let the liquid stand until the fat separates, then skim off. When the pork is cooled enough to handle, simply grab two forks and shred the meat. Put it in a serving container and pour in the juices you kept and you're done. From this point, you can serve it up with steamed rice, make a sandwich, ramen, or just eat it with your hands over the sink. So if you're gonna be serving this at a party or picnic, and you want something fun and original, let's use the rest of our banana leaf and make these luau packets. Now I'm gonna start with a placemat sized piece of banana leaf, and from there I'm just gonna put my components down in the middle. So I got my scoop of rice, I got my collard greens, and I got my kalua pork, and I'm just gonna put them down the center, and then I'm just gonna wrap everything in it just like a present. Then I'm just gonna secure it with some butcher twine, or you can just use the trimming from the leftover leaf. Now you can make these as small or as large as you want, and the best thing is that you can eat right out of the leaf like a disposable takeout container. Just looks cooler. Just make sure you serve your mac salad separate since it's cold. So that is my tribute to the Hawaiian mix plate. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you tried at home, which brings me to my question of the day. Do you like Polynesian food? If so, what's your favorite? Now for more great recipes, especially some great Hawaiian recipes, click on the annotations or on the links below. And have a great time in the kitchen and I'll see you next time.